Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. And as you get up and start this brand new day or you're winding down and getting ready to end this day, Thank God for everything he's brought you through and everything he's going to bring you through. And then commit the next day to him and ask him to show you somebody that you could encourage and share your faith with. Because that's something important we all need to be doing, is encouraging others, but also sharing our faith with others, telling others what Jesus has done for us, and enabling them to have the opportunity to come to that saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. But then above all things, don't forget to just say thank you and give God praise for everything he's doing in your life. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter number 4. And it's verse number 7. Scripture says, If thou doest well, shalt not thou be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Friends, God's giving Cain a warning here in that he's telling him if you do well, you're going to be accepted. If you do well doing what you've been told to do, following the instructions you've been given, walking in the steps you've been told to take, if you do those things, you're going to be accepted. But if you don't, he says sin lieth at the door. Sin is right there. All of us, I think, are just one second away, one step away from falling into sin. It's that close sometimes. And it's how we live our life. How we're doing what we, if we're doing what God's called us to do or not. That depends on if we have to struggle with sin or if we can rule over sin. He says, sin lieth at the door and unto thee shall be his desire. Sin is going to desire to control you, to consume you, to overcome you. But then he says, and thou shalt rule over him. In other words, you must overcome that temptation of sin. How can we do that? Well, one of the ways that I think we can overcome sin is realize what it is. And over in the book of Romans in the New Testament, chapter 7, Paul addresses that starting in verse number 15 and going down through verse number 19. We read, For that which I do I allow not, for what I would, that do I not, but what I hate, that I do. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but the sin that dwelleth in me, for I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. That seems like a a section of confusing jargon, but what Paul is essentially telling us here is the good things that I know that I need to do, those are the things that I struggle with, those are the things that I don't do. And the things that are evil, the things that are sin, things that I should stay away from, that those are the things that I end up doing. He says, for the will, where's it at here? For, let's see, for I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. This is verse number 18. In the flesh, we're going to struggle with sin. Because that's where sin comes from. He says, for to will is present. To will to do the good things of God is present. We just don't know how to do it. And that's where we got to, we got to ask God for direction. We got to ask God to lead us. So let me ask you this today, as we're starting our day, or as we're ending our day. Is this this the desire to do the good things of God there in your life? And if so, are you doing the good things that God wants you to do? 
Or are you like Paul, struggling in the flesh and doing the things you shouldn't do? All of us have that struggle. But we need to we need to, to confess that to God and we need to get it to where we are ruling over it. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.